Well, here we are in lesson four, and in this lesson we're going to do some drawings, some colorful drawings you see on the screen here. I've got three drawings, it's a, a bunch of circles, a bunch of squares, and a bunch of triangles. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how to do the circles and then let you figure out how to do the squares and the triangles. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play this program for you so you can see how it, how it runs. So notice how it starts drawing and each each time it draws a new square, circle, or triangle it picks a new color. So we'll just let it run for a little bit. Okay, so now how did we do that? Well, let's take a look. So let's try to draw these circles here. Notice that this um, ring here consists of many circles, so we're going to start, uh, we're going to try to repeat that. So let's first start, uh, we'll do a go to File and we'll go to New. And notice it created a new project. We've got a new icon here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this, or it's called a sprite. I'm going to get rid of this sprite right here. I'm going to click on the garbage can. And then I'm going to add another sprite. And the sprite I'm going to use in this case is a ball. Okay. Now I'd like to make that ball a little bit smaller. So I'm going to change this size here. I'm going to change this to, oh, let's make it 25. Okay. So it's a little smaller. Okay. And I can move that around if I hold my, my mouse on it and then hold my left mouse button down. I can move that wherever I want. Okay. So now what are we going to do? Well, the first thing we got to do, we want to... We want to move it, okay? So I'm going to use the motion and I'm going to move it 10 steps, okay? And then I'm going to rotate it. So how do I rotate it? Well, we got to turn it, okay? Now this says 15 degrees, okay? I'm actually going to turn that, make that 20, okay? So I move 10 steps, okay? And turn it 10 degrees. So I'm going to click on that. And if you notice, okay, it's moving. Notice how it's going in a circle here every time I move it. Okay, so that's good. Okay. Now, the other thing we're going to have to do is in order to get it to draw, we want to put the pen down. Okay. But let's do this first. Let's, let's do a, a repeat here. I'm going to use a, I'm going to go to control and I'm going to repeat this. Okay, oops, don't want that. What I want is I want it to look like this, okay? Now, what I want to do is I want to repeat this 18 times. And the reason I want to repeat it 18 times, if I move it 20 degrees every time and I move it 18 times, that's 360 degrees, so there's 360 degrees in a circle. And if I click on that, notice how the ball rotates around 360 degrees, okay? So now I've got a circle. So now the question is, how do I get it to put the pen down, okay? So I'm going to go over here to pen, okay, and there's a command called pen down. So right here, okay, I do a pen down. Voila, look at that. So it, okay. Now, the other thing I can do is I can move this over here and click on it, and I can draw circles all day long. Okay. Now, what I'd also like to do is I'd also like to make these overlapping circles. Okay. So, what I'm going to, in order to do that, I'm going to go, once it draws one circle, I'm going to have it pick the pen up. Okay, and I'm going to have it move. I'm going to have it move. Oh, let's see what's here. We should probably have it move about 15 steps. Okay, and then I'm going to have it turn 10 degrees. So I'm going to turn 10. Okay, and then what I'd also like to do is I'd like to have it change the pen color. Okay, so let's go back to the pen here. 
and what I can do is I can change the pen color by a number and all that does is each color is assigned a number so I'm going to change the pen color by 10 okay and then I'm going to put the pen down well this is getting pretty complex so hopefully you can follow this so we'll put the pen down okay now what I want to do is I want to repeat this whole set section here okay and I want to repeat that about oh I'm gonna say about 36 times okay so I'm gonna go back to control here and right here okay so now notice this goes all the way around here so it's gonna repeat this and I'm gonna make this 36 okay so let's try that once Oh, look at that. So we'll just let it run for till it's done. Okay, so there it did. It drew that. Now, Notice I had these other circles on the board here. Somehow we got to get rid of those. So what we can do is we can actually tell it to um, erase those. Uh, and okay, so I'm going to go here to the pen command again. And we're just going to tell it to erase all. So before it starts, it's going to erase everything. Okay. So let me click on it again. Okay. See there it did. It cleared that. So now we got a, cl a clear screen. It's going to draw our circles. But now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we start this off in a certain part of the screen. Okay. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to start about right here, approximately. Okay. Let's start it again. Okay. And you can see it's moving. Now, one of the things we can do, so if I want to, I don't want it to run all this time, I'm going to hit stop. Okay, so it stopped. Now, what we could do is, well, let's see what's here. Notice if I take this ball and put it about right there. Okay, notice here it's got the XY coordinates in it right here. Okay what the X and Y coordinates do tell it to go to a certain position okay so now let's run it again I'm gonna put the ball over here okay notice how it started in that that um, place where we told it to go to now notice it's a little bit too low it hit the bottom here so we got to move up which is the Y direction and we want to move it over here to the left a little bit more too okay so we'll wait till it's done okay so the Y position we want to make it a little bit higher so in this particular case I'm gonna make it zero we're gonna kind of start it in the middle of the screen and this one I'm gonna make it minus 145 okay let's try it again Okay, so we keep getting closer the other thing we can do is we can tell it to point in a certain direction so I'm going to tell it to point in direction 90 okay so let's do that one so let's see what that looks like okay so since we pointed it in a different direction it's going to look a little bit different this time okay and we're going to stop it okay another thing we can do is we can change the pen size so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the pen size uh, which is right here and I'm going to set the pen size it's at one right now let's make it three and see what that looks like 
and see how the line is thicker still changing colors so you can make it whatever thickness you want okay so we got the pen size now one of the things I would like to do is I would like to when it gets done here notice how you still see the ball right here what I'd like to do is I'd like to get rid of that ball so I think I can go here to looks and when it gets done I can tell it to, to hide the ball okay but when I do that I've also got at the beginning I've got to tell it to show the ball okay so let's do that over again I'm going to put it drag the ball over here we'll try it again and we'll see once what happens now will we be able to see that ball okay so the ball disappeared okay now one of the things that you can do here is you can tell it to start when you hit a key on the keyboard and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, let's see what's here if we go to events okay I can go when I can tell it to go when I click the flag or let's do this let's take this put it over here okay so when I press the space key okay it'll start so if I hit the space key it starts okay I just hit the space key now notice every time I run it I didn't notice this till just now to change the pen size by three okay so I'm gonna going to actually I'm gonna replace this block so if you want to replace a block I'm gonna drag this down like so and then I can drag this down to separate it and I want to get rid of that one I'm gonna drag it over here and I want to set the pen I'm going to set the pen size to a certain size. Okay, so I'm going to set that to three. And then I'm going to drag this back up again. So now let's run that again. Okay, remember I can hit the space bar. So hit the space bar. So that's it. I'm going to stop here. Um, why don't you give it a try? Seems if you can duplicate this.